The French Dispatch is three things. Anthology, The New Yorker, and a French movie. The French Dispatch is a movie that's made up of a collection of different stories that appear in an edition of The French Dispatch, which is this American Outpost International magazine. Shrink the masthead, cut some ads, and tell the foreman to buy more paper. I'm not killing anybody. I play this fellow Howitzer, the editor of a magazine, loosely based on someone at the New Yorker. Try to make it sound like you wrote it that way on purpose. His kind of incredible sympathy for writers and encouragement. It's moving how much he believes in and supports his writers. You don't think it's almost too seedy this time? No, I don't. For decent people. It's supposed to be charming. The hero of every story, sort of, is a writer. And we have the writer's work and we have the stories they're telling and we kind of intercut between them. If we take as the subject of tonight's lecture, Mr. Moses Rosenthaler, certainly the loudest artistic voice of his rowdy generation. The concrete masterpiece is J.K. L. Berenson, which is the character that I play, a count of a, a great master called Moses Rosenthaler. He's a very talented painter at a young age, but uh, he ends up in jail, and another inmate becomes his art manager. I want to buy it. It's not for sale. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. The kids did this, obliterated a thousand years of Republican authority in less than a fortnight. What do they want? Freedom. Full stop. In the late 60s, it was a student revolution. It was a turning of the culture, a changing of the tide. The youthful reach for ego and intellect. Is there a story in us for the people of Kansas? Maybe. Frances McDormand has this character that's inspired by Mavis Gallant. She had so many great short stories that were published in The New Yorker over the years. And this whole story is really intended as a bit of an homage to her. Lieutenant Nescafier he is the great exemplar of the mode of cuisine known as police cooking. May I interrupt with a question? Please, just Would permit you... me to dog ear the page mentally. Beg your pardon. I play a writer named Roebuck Wright, who's on assignment to explore this extraordinary chef, played by Stephen Park. The aromas of the kitchen cast a spell, which was to be mortally broken. Other events descend upon the table, and his story uh, veers away along with those events. As you know by now, we have kidnapped your son. Hello? Shut up. The night erupts into a kidnapping, a chase, and a criminal story. It's like a voyage in sensations. It's almost like a drug trip. One hour to press. You're fired. Really? Don't cry in my office.